I really think that stamps are some of the coolest objects in the world because they form a core component of humanity's visual, material and print cultures. In fact, the British Library's recent exhibition, Unfinished Business, The Fight for Women's Rights, includes a body of stamps celebrating women's contributions to science, technology and medicine. Women from all ages, backgrounds and ethnicities are involved in stamp production. Why don't we have a look at the work of my favourite designers? So let's start with the work of Jennifer Toombs. She went on to become a stamp designer, a career she pursued for the next 50 years. But one of my favourite sets of designs produced by Jennifer Toombs has to be the Lesotho December 1977 Decade to Combat Racism set. It comprises four different stamp designs, which I have here to show you in this volume. When you look at these stamps, you see a slight evolution in Jennifer Toombs' style from the use of, of colours and, and blackness into a, a more transitional modernist piece using an intermediate background colour. So for the four cents stamp here on a pink background, we have a white face and a black face looking at one another, obviously talking with a, a black equal sign, mathematical symbol between them to, to symbolise racial equality. And that's then followed by the 10 cent stamp depicting black and white jigsaw pieces on a blue background that are interlocked together to highlight the, the way that communities have to work together to, to build society. That theme's then transferred across to the 15 cent denomination, which again uses a black and a white cog that are working and rotating together on, on an orange background to show how societies need to be working and cooperating and harmonious. And then it finishes off with the 25 cent denomination on a kind of turquoise background, showing a black and white hand shaking hands, symbolizing friendship. What I love about this set is it, it looks at the symbols of, of, of racial equality, of how reliant we are on one another, on how we need to work together, and of course, how we need to be harmonious. Definitely important messages back then, but just as important today. Being a big fan of Chinese history, Lu Tianzhao is without a doubt one of the most prolific stamp designers from the People's Republic of China. She designed well over 260 stamps with her colleagues and by herself. And these stamps really mirror the, the most formative years in the development and history of the People's Republic of China. I have here a set of five stamps that she designed in 1960. Now, during the North Korean War, China accused America of committing a bacteriological warfare against the North Koreans. And that triggered a series of national health campaigns. The theme on this stamp here is about safety and cleanliness in the workplace. So it depicts here a Chinese factory worker in the foreground with a disinfectant spray machine in the background. That's then followed by the second stamp in the set, which looks at the theme of pest eradication. The third stamp of the set, and perhaps the most relevant today, is about hygiene, about cleanliness to stop the transmission of a virus in, in, a, in your daily environment. So here we have a, a woman cleaning a glass surface as the major design, and underneath that we have silhouettes of people cleaning up. This stamp here shows a doctor um, medically examining a Chinese child, reflecting the importance of a good health service to help combat disease. The final stamp of the set, and again one of my most, most favourite, depicts an elderly gentleman performing Tai Chi, a form of Chinese exercise. Healthy lifestyle, good hygiene and consistent habits, good habits, which are messages conveyed by our governments to this day to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, that's all I've got to show you for now. But in terms of studying female stamp designers, it's quite literally the tip of the iceberg, not to mention this being not even a fraction of our overall holdings. If you're interested in looking at our material or have any further queries, why don't you get in touch?